M0 FXB ham radio diary. Right, M0 FXB, going to show you how to send a photograph from one digital narrow place to another. Um, so it could be via your hotspot, it could be direct. I'm doing it in GM mode. So to get into GM mode, just I'll come out, just push your GM button. Okay, now go back into GM mode. Well, I'll just show you my setting on the FT3. If you go at like that, go to options, go to USB camera, which we haven't got, and look what I've selected. The size, the quality is low, size 320 by 242. Any image you get, you have to resize using a resizing program. Um, and there's loads on Google, low, and then look, SP selection, I've put internal SP instead of, can we select that, um, camera, okay, internal SP, so go back, come back out of that, so now we're going to, both radios, same frequency, this is just direct, there's no hotspot in use at the moment now, so just go group mode, um, and then group mode. So both radars will go into group mode. Now I'm going to send a picture from the FT3 to the FT300. Now there's a bit of a process to get that picture into the, your file and I'm going to show that um, as part of this video. So what you do now, you just press APL. No, actually no, get it right. Press log. Go to picture, tap the screen. Now I'm trying to work out how I found it last time. Yeah, it looks like it was just fat fingers. So select picture, tap the screen. And look, you can see that I've got a picture there. Now it took me a while to work out how to do that. Uh, I will show you that. So now let's just send it. Um, so we tapped it and you can see the picture I'm sending. I've never sent it before, so we're going to click send. So, let's have a look and see if the radio received it. So it didn't work the first time, so this time we actually got a message on the screen. So we're now going to click OK. There you are, and it's saying receiving on the FT300. So remember, we haven't got a camera, we're just using the PC to load the image. Now both card, both radios have got an SD card in. They've been formatted in the radio, so they've got all the correct files in the SD card. Yeah, picture receive error, but um, we'll still go and have a look. And it's the picture we've got has been put in a file here. So let's just see, it was sending it. Let's just have a look in the log. So you push the F and we'll turn the knob, go to log, push the button, pictures. Yeah, so it didn't receive it. That's okay, we'll keep trying. M0FXB, just uh, another video. So what it is, if you haven't got a camera for your FT, 3D, FT300, FT400, FT2, you need to get an image onto your SD card um, so you can send it. First thing you've got to do is get yourself an SD card, put it in the radio and format it because that will create uh, a file that looks like this on your SD card. So I'll double click it. Okay, you'll have, ignore these bottom three, you'll have all these things here 
One of them's called photo. As you can see, I've got a photo in mine, which I will I will delete because um, I want to show you how to get the correct photo in there. So I've been trying like crazy resizing photos. Now you do have to resize a photo um, to the correct size for the FT. 3D and I, it's in the radio. Let me just check. I think it's 320. Let's have a look on if I can look in the radio. <clears throat> go back. You go into your menu. Go menu. I mean, it's not a very good picture. Go to options. Go to USB camera and look, it says it on there. You've got two choices of size. 320 by 240 or if you select there 160 by 120 okay so I've got a photo here now there's two things you need now this um, ham DC 5 KW has has created some freeware which sort of does the work for you it doesn't resize the photo but it gets the photo in a in a state where your uh, radio will use it because before I did this it wouldn't use it so see what it says here FTM 400 XC I know it's in German um, that's the one I used so you've got two here I'm not sure why there's two but that's the one I used so if so double click it and run it so basically what you end up with is this little XC here so what you do then is get the photo you're going to use and put it in that file so there it is that I've called the file blur just for easy recognition now you don't drag it into because what you'd think you do is just drag it into your photo file but no you don't that doesn't work not sure why it's got to have the correct number the correct format whatever so then what you do is now at the moment if we look in the photo file that it's blank nothing in there now this does it for you so watch this I'll run the XE and FTM 400 and it is for he wrote this for the FTM 400, but I've tested it. It works on the three Actually, I have to test it on the 300, but but anyway, let's just do this So just okay that and you get this and see the way it's already Detected that my blur photo is is you know is, is the one I'm going to use and you can have more You can have more and then you just do control all or I think to, to select them all and it will convert them all for you I'm just going to convert one. So all you do is literally select it and then right click it and it vanishes. See that? Now if we look in photo, there it is. There's the file. It's been put there for you. It's got this special number and I've tested it on, on the FT3 and it definitely works. I've tried to send it across. There was an error, but that's probably to do with my settings on the FT300. I just tried to send it from the FT3 to the FT300, but I'm going to keep playing. But for now, I'm just going to put this video on YouTube so you guys can all have a, have a play. I think it's great. And thanks to DC5KW for creating this, uh, this executable file that does the work for us. So let me know how you get on with it. 7-3.